Gordon Bombay is a hotshot lawyer with a license plate that says just win, which means he's tried to fight at least three mall Santas. He gets hit with a Dewey and the judge decides that his penalty for drinking and operating heavy machinery is to coach a youth hockey team. Hope nobody's parents mind. The team's absolute garbage and coach yells at everybody with his warm peppermint schnapps breath and they're like, hey whiskey dick, what do you even know about hockey? You look like a dude who does key bumps at his desk on casual Friday. Gordy tells him that just because his day job involves defending oil companies from shitting in their water doesn't mean he can't toss a wrister in the back of the net. They get this pretty boy named Banks who nobody likes, but just because he he has a haircut that says I launched a kid off a roof during a fraternity hazing incident, Banks is actually a good shit. Pacey has a chance to win the game on a penalty shot and coach is like, hey pal, I was once in your position and I choked my dick off and I still wake up every night in a pea soaked race car bed, but hey, go out there and have some fun. Charlie doesn't tinkle down his leg as he breaks out the triple D, game winner, quack quack bitches. Gordon Bombay is crushing the minors until his knee explodes and he's forced to go back to sleeping in a storage closet in Minneapolis. Jan's like, instead of crying into the bra section of the Sears catalog, why don't you go coach Team USA? So they put together a squad and coach a team building exercise called if you tell your parents I tied you up I will deny it I got priors bitch they get cooked by Iceland who's bigger faster stronger and hey you fucking dick hole that's not very nice Bombay shows up late to the next game blowing a duck whistle and everyone's like bro you back on that sauce the team starts having fun again until evil Pat Riley pops a beach ball which is the international sign for I grinded with your cousin at a graduation party in the finals they're getting smoked until they change jerseys and I just tore my rotator cuff from raising the roof too hard Keenan fires a knuckle puck to send the game into a shootout where Julia the Cat steps in a goal in D fucking nine you ball bag. D3 starts with a flashback that makes it look like Gordon Bombay fell through the ice playing pond hockey. But he's alive and well and brings Charlie to a capeside looking creek to tell him he's not going to be their coach at Eden Hall Academy. The new JV squad thinks everyone's going to love them, but Coach Orion is like, if you don't stop fucking around, I'm going to stuff your head into a toilet and flush. They play an unsanctioned game under a light bright and the varsity kicks their dicks in and Coach makes everyone burn their duck jerseys because your childhood is now dead. They do their patented weird ass training regiment and become the ducks again and the showdown is set for the JV varsity game. Coach slaps the C back on Charlie's chest, which gives him the superpower of cutting through the defense and leaving Goldberg, yes Goldberg, to snipe the game winner. Gordon's work is now done and the only thing left for him to do is to take off his ankle monitor and absolutely annihilate his hotel minibar.